Hello, my name is Tim Gerhardt. I'm from LabStrong. Today, we're going to change the LabStrong cartridge out of a B-Pure, Barnstead B-Pure system. And all we're going to need today is gloves. You should use gloves because anytime you handle the canister style cartridge, you don't want to contaminate the outside of the cartridge with anything from your hands. So we're always use gloves. First thing you want to do is depressurize the unit by disconnecting. Open up your valve at the end, whatever this is connected to, you want to make sure this is open. And then shut your water source off. Disconnect your water source. Once it's disconnected and it's depressurized, you can actually pull down on your pin, quarter turn locking canister, slide that to the side, drops down, then you have your canister and your head section. You want to make sure that with the cartridge you get an O-ring. This is a GSX 28 LS. But you want to change, take out your old O-ring, grab your new O-ring, put it inside the groove. There is a groove in this canister. You want to make sure it stays in that groove. If it comes out of the groove a little bit, what can happen is that it can get trapped between the canister and the head section. You can actually damage the O-ring and you don't want to do that, then you can't use it. And then it will leak to the outside. So that's your change out of that gasket. Then you open up your bag that your cartridge comes in, slide that, slice that open, grab your cartridge out of there, take your old O-ring out, replace it with the new O-ring, and throw your old O-ring old o -ring away. Now you can take your cartridge, you want to make sure that your cartridge goes up in the head section first and then install your canister. You want to put this up inside of here so that makes sure you have a good seal. Give it a little bit of a twist. You've got a good seal, it's going to hang there. Then you take your canister, put it up in place. It's a quarter turn locking canister. You twist it till it gets over to the stop, then pull your pin down until it gets past the stop, then you can let go of the pin. Then you need to turn it to at least one click, if not two or three. There's, there are three positions on this pin. You need to get it at least to the first one. That will give you a good seal here. If you can get to the second one, that's fine too. You can get it as tight as you can, but the third click is the last one. Once you have that in place, your cartridge is sealed up into your head section. That's very important because you don't want it to bypass. Because water, if you don't have that sealed up inside of there, when we first installed it, if it's not sealed in there, it, water could bypass the cartridge, go out the other side and not even go through the cartridge. You don't want that. So now that we have the, ca the cartridge installed, we go ahead and connect up our water source. Then this side, whether it goes to another piece of equipment, or it goes to a tank, or whatever, wherever this is going to, to feed, you go ahead and open that up. You want to get the air out of it, so that should go to drain first. Once all the air is out of the system and you've rinsed about five liters to drain, now you can go ahead and shut this off, shut your inlet off, connect this to whatever product it's going to, like a, a DI system for pre-treat, could be going to a distillation system for pre-treat. You want to head and connect it up to that, then you can open up your valve and then have the water flow through there and you're ready to go after you've done that flushing action through this system for probably about five liters, five to 10 liters at the most. Then you should be complete. And that's how you install the, the LabStrong cartridge into a B-Pure, Barnstead B-Pure system. Thanks for watching. At LabStrong, we are committed to making your lab life easier. For additional assistance, please contact the experts at LabStrong.